Well, hello everybody, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison and welcome to this segment of Answering Why. This is where we take a few minutes, just a few minutes, to answer some of the most common health-related questions, the, the why to some of the most health-related, common health-related questions. This week, the, the question we're gonna touch on is why are my workouts not working? I see so many people working out over and over and over and doing it incorrectly, not getting the results, getting frustrated. And then the first thing that happens is they, they quit their workout. And, and there's a few problems with, that I see where people work out. The first and most important thing to recognize is you gotta put the right fuel in your body. You cannot out-exercise a poor diet. It is absolutely impossible. So that should be the first and, and foremost, most important thing, eat right. Now that, that can be a broad scope, but first and foremost, just eat real foods. That'll, that'll be a huge step. So eat the right, eat food, eat right, the right foods. And, uh, and remember that the age old thought of eating less and working out more is going to give you the physique you want. No, you've got to put the right fuel in the tank. You can't starve your body. So eating right. Um, abs are made in the kitchen, they're not made in the gym, but we do need some work, some exercise. The second thing is we have to have enough energy going into our workouts to actually be able to, to for our body to deliver. Physical activity will promote energy, but we've got to have a significant amount of energy before we go into our workouts. So that's where we get into sleep and all of that stuff. So now that you're eating well, and then you're sleeping well, now you can start your workouts. So two most common um, problems I see with people working out is they're doing the same activity over and over and over and over and over. That's, that's not gonna cut it. That, that's one problem. And there, not only is it, is it too repetitive I and mean, we have to shock the body, but we're not allowing those muscle groups to heal, to recover. So we gotta fatigue the muscle and we gotta have it recover. That's the biggest thing. And then the type of activity, any, any exercise that, it, that you're gonna stick to and, and follow through with, that is gonna be excellent. But if you really want to morph your body, alter your, your physique and, and lean out, there's one type of exercise that is being shown to be the absolute best, and that is high intensity resistance training. So that is resistance training with weights, some kind of resistance, and doing it at a, at a very, very high intensity. So the beautiful thing is a short workout, uh, I should say an amazing workout, is only going to take 30 to 40 minutes, three times a week. That's it. So it's doable. We don't need to live in the gym. So it's, it's excellent. This is what I personally do. So day one, you can break up your workouts. So remember, we want to exercise, fatigue muscles and allow them to recover. So you can break it up into three days. So day one, you would use a, a, a functional group of muscles, a set of functional muscles that would be push muscles. This would be when you're working out on that day one, it's going to be um, chest, uh, triceps and shoulders. That'll work. That'll all activate the push muscles. And then you take a day off. The next day, you're going to maybe work on pull muscles, uh, functional movements that require the pull motion. So that's going to be back, the all of our back muscles and biceps. And then you take a day off. And then the third day, maybe work your legs, right? Th those are massive muscles. You can work those work your legs and maybe throw abdominals in there as well. On the off days, you could do a little light cardiovascular activity because there are benefits with cardiovascular activities like running and jogging and walking and treadmills and all of that. But you should focus on putting on lean muscle mass because 40% of your body is made up of lean muscles. So there's nothing better than resistance training to develop those muscles. And when you develop them, you put on a little bit more lean muscle mass Naturally, that lean muscle requires, requires uh, energy, so it burns calories right at rest. So when you put on lean muscle mass, you'll naturally burn calories right at rest and ultimately start burning off fat tissue. So that's the, that's the regimen. You have a push day, that's chest and triceps and um, chest, chest, triceps and shoulders. And then a day off, a pull day, that'd be back and biceps. And then a day off and it'd be legs and, uh, and more abdominals. So just 30, even 40 minutes on those workout days and you're going to have an amazing workout and your body will morph and it's a sustainable amount of time you need for your workout. Now, by all means, if you have injuries or anything going on, make sure you work with a trainer. You're doing it safely and effectively, but that's all you really need to do. But remember, put the right fuel in the tank and make sure you're working on your sleep and, and, and driving energy, everything you have to do for that. And, and you will be unstoppable. So 
I hope that was helpful. I hope that got rid of some confusion of, of all the long hours people spend in the gym doing the repetitive behavior over and over. And, um, and that should get you going. So I hope that was helpful. I, that, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison. And, uh, and next day, we'll answer another why. You can always ask questions below, comment to this. I'll, um, I'll always try to answer those questions. But I look forward to seeing you next day where we'll answer another why. So have a great day.